Welcome back to the channel, I'm Chris HFM. This is another instalment of Rebuilding the Castle. Now, as you can see, it's been a whole load of green for us since you were last with me. After that 3-0 League Cup first qualifying round 3-0, we then beat Barton Rovers 1-0, St Newt's 3-0, both in league games. We then had the FA Cup first qualifying round where we beat Dunstan 4-0 quite convincingly. Pulton Rovers took us to extra time for a 1-0. Stephen Green scored an absolute screamer from the edge of the box top corner to put us through in that game. We then won 5-1 against Derham in the FA Trophy first round. Did cop 5-0 at home in the league. Uh, we then went and beat um, National League South side Chester 2-1 in the FA Cup second qualifying round. We then beat Wantage 4-1 in the league. Went and beat Bedford 1-0 in the league. Chippenham Town again, another National League South side. Beat them 3-1 in the third qualifying round. Storbridge held us up a little bit, but then in the end we went and got them done on penalties into the third round of the League Cup. And then we went into the fourth qualifying round where the winner would go into the first round proper and we played Peterborough Sports, who are actually a division above us, and we beat them 2-1. So today the episode is going to be Aylesbury United and maybe the, that one I might... Yeah, well, I'll do Aylesbury United and then we'll play Geisley. Geisley are also a uh, National League South side. I think the National League South. Are they National League South or are they North? No, they're North. Geisley are North. So we've got a National North side in the Build-A-Bet, Build-A-Bet, Build-A-Base, FA Trophy second round. And then we've got Akron and Stanley, which I might come back for. I'm not really fussed about the cup games because we know we're not going to win any cups at this level. I mean, it's nice. We're making, a, I mean, if you check out the income we've been making, uh, not grants, what am I looking for? The FA Cup, prize money. In the FA Cup so far, we've made £22,069. Just off of our uh, winning prize money. So hopefully, we can keep that going and that will keep this ticking over. I mean, when I started, I think it was like 200000 I thought there was a bug in the game. Because I didn't see how Burko would have that much money. But we've now got it up to 411000 Still doing pretty healthy in the there's eight hundred and forty seven pounds worth of money to play with in player wages for when the transfer window opens and I will be looking to strengthen most of our midfield because as you can see our midfield is still a little bit I mean one and a half stars, two stars, one star. Still a little bit ropey. Right back still a problem. And we've also got the problem of losing Potter, Oakley, Bonner and who's the other one? Cleaver, we could lose Cleaver. I mean, he's wanted. I wanted by Grimsby, Late Orient, Wrexham, Flyd. He's wanted by Portsmouth, Kilmarnock, St Johnson, St Mirren. I mean, that's going to be hard to keep. The only one he wasn't wanted is the keeper. So Potter could. I want to say he will stay, but there's nothing saying that we can't get through the whole of January where he will stay, which could be a problem for us. But anyway, today, Aylesbury United away. It's a little bit of a rivalry game. The team we're going to go with today is Potter in goal, Kelly at right back, Oakley and Bonner at centre back, Cleaver left back, Doolan, Green and Cooper are going to play in the centre and midfield and Bentley, Tebble and Verney will be our front three. So yeah, since you were last with me, it has literally been win, 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 win. We've had a couple of ropey draws, but one on penalties or extra time, but it's all looking... Very rosy for Berkhamsted at the minute. So, five minutes gone. Nothing to bring you as of yet. Here we go then. First highlight looks like it's for Aylesbury. Hercules. They've got a player in their team called Hercules. What? Uh, do you reckon he's strong? Anyway, Julius now. Plays the ball back. Whips the ball across and it's headed away. Tebble puts it forward. Verney can't control it. It's then pushed forward again. Kelly will keep this in play. And that's the end of the highlight. Keepers on 7.1 already. Yeah, as I was saying, I will try and strengthen up the midfield and the right back positions. Might get a, another striker in. Maybe an attacking winger. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with the balance of the squad. As you can see, Like the first half of the season has been brilliant. But the problem we have got is if we lose three or four of our top boys 
in this transfer window, second half of the season might not be as rosy as the first half of it. And that's when we really will have to dig in and try and find somewhere. Look at the weather here at Aylesbury. I mean, it's not as bad as the real life weather that we're having at the moment that's near Aylesbury, which is all snow. I'm going to tell him to work hard and it will come. Don't always go with the assistant manager because sometimes you look at it and think, I don't want to boot, I don't want to stump their morale or their, uh, what's it, like their confidence to play. Doolan whips the call across and there's Bentley and a keeper makes a comfortable catch. Oh, there's a mistake there and Vernie's in. Oh, it's disallowed. What's he give that for? Offside. I'm sure their defender played it back though. Anyway, Richard Bentley looks like he's going to be coming off. It's the only problem with the lower league sort of thing. It's just the the fitness levels. I mean, to be fair, they're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. I thought I was going to be struggling every game. But, I mean, I've sort of rotated the squad as much as I could over the last few weeks. Bearing in mind, I've obviously put our full strength and proper team out in the FA Cup every time. Because we need the money. And it'd be nice to just get that little bit of money going. I mean, Stuart Tebble's not having the best game. I mean, it's telling me, I mean, this is what I mean. It's telling me to put a right, a, a centre back in there. Stupid. We're going to put Steve Green forward. Put Kirkpatrick in the centre now. I mean, Andrew Bonner's looking a bit tired, but I don't really want to risk too much. We'll encourage the boys. And as always, the first game back on camera brings little to no highlights. And... A nil nil by the look of it. Bernie's. Oh, I mean, Stephen Green hasn't played well at all. I mean, look again. Right, bring a centre back on. Jog on, mate. Danny Murphy at left back. I know it's not a very attacking. It could backfire now. Oh, headed away. Woods in and he scores. And this is exactly what I'm saying. You've been off camera all that time. We've won every single game. You come back on camera and you jinx me. And now we're going to lose to one of our rivals. I'll push it up very attacking, but I think we're going to lose. And we have. Well, thanks for watching, folks. I'm not happy with that. Went all that time without losing. You lot come in to have a watch and it's over. There you go, look, six games undefeated, eight being eight games unbeaten away. I put it on camera and we lose. Never mind. Anyway, I'll be back in a couple of minutes to bring you Geisley at home. Hopefully we can turn it around in that game. And I'll see you. We're going to go with exactly the same starting lineup that started the last game against Aylesbury. I know it could be a little bit hit and miss, but I'm going to go with it because it's what we've played most of the season. So they should, they're all well rounded players. They should all know. I think, though, I'm going to start kick Patrick instead of Cooper for this game. Just because Cooper's played a lot of games lately and I want to give him a little bit of a break, keep him fresh for some. For other games. But yeah, hopefully, with a bit of luck, we'll be able to uh, get some new sign ins in the transfer window. And hopefully, we can move forward and progress. That's just wide. Now, here we go. Oakley brings it out. Plays it up to Tebble. Tebble now. Oakley puts it forward. No one there again. Bonner. Remember, these are like two, three divisions above us. So I'm not holding out the best of hopes, but maybe. Ball played through. Felix is in here, and that's 1-0 to Gynesley. And we are going to be in a lot of trouble. Ball played through. Nobody cares. Just get on with it. 12 minutes in. I mean, it's been all them, really. Green plays it forward. Bentley now gets hold of it. Puts it out wide to Cleaver. 
Bono plays it forward. Bentley, Cleaver, Kirkpatrick. It's a poor bit of play from Kirkpatrick. And Felix is in again for 2 now, And that's his second of the game. Fifth of the season. And we are struggling. Don't need to see that. I'm so happy that I've decided to put these two games on camera for you. Looks like we're going to hit a little bit of slump in form now. He needs to be closed down more. Kick Patrick, I put him in and he's having the worst game of his life. Stuff like this happens a lot as well. Put someone in, give them a chance and they're absolutely awful. Point the finger, show me something else, second half. And I'm going to take... Patrick off for Cooper. So Cooper got half half a game break. But now he's back in. 50 minutes on the clock. Here we go now. And attacks on. Green puts it out wide to Tebble. Tebble gets it into the box. Puts it back. Kelly. Copper, oh, Cooper had a go. Just past the post. Just over half an hour to play. Kelly now plays it forward. Plays it inside to Cooper. Cooper plays it forward again. Doolan gets hold of the ball. Bentley, Cleaver, Cooper. Cleaver over the top. Nobody there again. Doolan puts it over and Verney. I mean, you'd put your house on him there. The form he's been in this season. But even he's managing to mess up in this game. Felix is in for a hat-trick here. Pulls it just wide. Half an hour to play. I've got players that are dropping energy levels. Stephen Green's tired. We're going to bring on Alec for him. Swap them over. Bonner is going to come off because he's too tired. He's been tired a lot. We'll put Lynch in. 20 minutes to go then. Table now plays the ball forward. Vernie will chase hold of it, can't get near it. Bracknell clears. Kelly picks it up, puts the ball in. Table again brings it forward. Have a go, son. Why not? Unlucky. Well, it looks like we will be going out of the FA Trophy. I think that's what it is the build base FA Trophy. The old, uh, what it used to be called, the Johnson Paint. Was it that? Or was that for league clubs? I can't remember. Or the FA Vast Trophy or something it used to be, weren't it? Well, 10 minutes to go. I can't do anything else. Just got to let this play out, really, and hope we can get a couple of goals. But Cleaver now puts it across. That's got to be. It's a great save. Ball comes in again. Is that a penalty? No, free kick. What's that for? Offside. Um, Felix is in for a hat trick and he's fluffed it again. I'm going to demand more for the last five minutes and see how we get on. But not massively great, is it? Let's be honest. And there you go. 2 0 to Gainsley. We've had a valiant effort in that cup competition, though. I'm not happy with it. But it's not that bad. So, going out, I mean, I think we made it, what did we make it, second round? Yeah, look at that. All those wins, I put you on the, I put these two games on the camera, we don't score and we lose both games. It's always the way, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to bypass the FA Cup games and all that, because I really want to focus on the lead, because I think we're going to win the league this year. And I might skip down here to Bedworth and Kidlington for the next two games. But uh, if you like that, please leave a thumbs up in the like section. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much for watching. Take care.